Okay, so I just wanted to do a quick video to show everybody a couple of new specimens I got this week, and I know um, I posted a link uh, to um, the Etsy shop where I bought this on our uh, Sacred Voices Crystal Junkies Facebook group page, um, but I never got a chance to show you guys any pictures or anything, so this is a beautiful uh, natural raw crystal of imperial topaz. Imperial topaz is um, a golden yellow topaz, but it actually has a very unique color ray that's almost a little bit pinky or peachy or champagne-y sometimes, and it can kind of vary from more golden to more of a peachy pinky tone. But um, this specimen is uh, a little over an inch long, which believe it or not is quite large for one of these. Um, they, they are not inexpensive, I will tell you that. Um, I, however, have been moving through a beautiful shamanic crystal program, and I have been making shamanic journeys to each of my chakras to uncover the specific crystals that are my chakra stones. And so this is the one that came through for my um, solar plexus chakra, and I didn't even know um, I really didn't even know about Imperial Topaz uh, uh, during the journey. I just sort of um, thought I hoped it was a real thing. <laughs> and, and I looked up and, and, it, and it certainly was. I knew Topaz came in a lot of colors. Um, anyway, it's really lovely and I'm probably not doing it justice. It actually has quite a few rainbows in it and you can see it's naturally terminated there on the end. Um, and it's just really a very special very unique piece. Uh, so I was quite excited about that. And this was a shop on Etsy called Solstice Stones. And um, I'll repost a link for that in the comments just so everybody can go to it if they want to. I think they're out of Canada. So it took a little while to get here, but not too bad. Now, that is that guy. Now, I also wanted to show you guys these. I got a little bag. I think it's an ounce worth of strawberry quartz and this is what came through for my heart chakra stone um, and uh, believe it or not it's actually rather challenging to find large specimens of true strawberry quartz this is one of those ones i would advise you to be cautious about ordering online there's a lot of uh, fakes out there a lot of you know man-made stuff and a lot of things being called strawberry quartz that really aren't um, but these guys are and they're quite lovely. They're really very small, um, but I got quite a few of them, and so I figured that would just have to work. Uh, and this was another dealer from Etsy. Her name was New Age Girl, uh, and she was, uh, I believe, in America. And I'll just a, a link to her um, her shop as well. But these guys were really quite affordable, and you can see they have the the very striking uh, speckled red speckles in there uh, and or stripes which are sort of needle-like hematite inclusions typically but that's what I've read uh, there most often are there's also something called uh, oh what's it called a pitocrokite uh, which will sometimes mimic this a little bit, but, but it's it's different. It doesn't usually go all the way through the crystal like this. It's a little different, So, um, but it can be similar. So you may see that sometimes too, but uh, they kind of vary from sort of a very pale color to some of these darker ones. And let's see, yeah, just really, really lovely. So this is my unique heart chakra stone. And, um, you know, maybe I'll show you guys a video later of, of uh, my entire set. It's been a really exciting experience so far and something that I intend to bring to my clients. I will be certified at the end of this program to um, uh, be a shamanic guide to the crystal realms for people and to help you guys receive your specific medicine stones um, and other sacred medicine objects. Uh, so anyway, it should be quite exciting. But I just wanted to share this with you and I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend despite our dark and gloomy weather here in Houston. All right. Sayonara. Blessed be everyone.